it's not required, um, but it's not a good idea to do it by yourself either. Um, the, the reason is, is that if you want to do the basic and do the articles of organization, they're similar to articles of incorporation, although there are some, some differences on the requirements between the two. Um, having said that, that's usually not an issue because if you go on the website for the state of Florida, they have forms for, for actual lay people to form their own corporation or their own LLC. So actually getting the LLC, um, the articles of organization recorded so that you technically have an LLC, um, so that legal entity exists, that part you really don't need counsel for. The problem is, is that if you are gonna operate as an LLC, and if you are going to keep that shield from personal liability available to you, then you need to have an operating or management agreement. And if you're going to pull one off of the internet and you're just gonna use a form, then you are probably going to miss something that is particular to your line of business and or particular to your management setup and or particular to the way you're gonna have your membership interests set up and what happens if things go wrong. And you have to take into account all those specific uh, issues that you have or specific issues that may come in the future. So when I talk to a client about this, I'll start asking questions about expansion and growth and uh, numbers of investors. And if that's going to be the, if, that, if the person envisions that as being a constant, um, so if they envision that that's going to change over the future, then you need to make provisions for that. And that's very, very difficult for a person to do on their own with no legal training.